15 years. I loaded up. I can't, I cannot imagine how much to lie without her there. I remember the first time that I ever met Lily. It was the uh, first day of school in ninth grade. Mrs. Hughes, second period of our class, Jefferson Forest, representing some other class members are present tonight. Um, it was the first day of school, so I, you know, I walked in and I kind of scanned the room to see if I knew anyone that was in there, and I didn't, I didn't know anyone, and I didn't want to look like, you know, a loser that doesn't have any friends. So I just, you know, played it cool and just quickly sat down at the nearest table and just hoped that someone I knew would walk in. And uh, about 30 seconds later, Lindsay walked into class, scanned the room, and then just blurted out, I don't know anybody in here. <laughs> and sat down right next to me. And I was like, oh my god, that is exactly what I just thought. This girl said it out loud. <laughs> it was, it blew my mind. It blew my mind. Uh, which is kind of a metaphor for my relationship with Lindsay uh, for two reasons. One, because she has continued to read my mind ever since then. Uh, and I always say it out loud. And that's one of my favorite things about you. You're never afraid to just say it out loud. No <laughs> matter if you're going to look like an idiot or anyone else's, Lindsay will say it. You're here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we very quickly became close friends. We discovered we had a lot in common. We both had one younger brother. We both had birthdays in September. And most importantly, we both had the exact same pair of black LEI pants from Hex that we wore, I mean, let's be honest, at least three days a week that year because they were street pants and they looked good. And most girls, you know what I'm talking about, if you're wearing something and you see another girl wearing the same outfit, it's a disaster and you hate that girl and you wish evil on her and all of the family. But for whatever reason, Lindsay and I thought it was the greatest thing in the world that we had the same pants and we wore it every day and we thought it was awesome. And it was. We were inseparable. We were touched with him. We went everywhere together. We were never seen apart. To the point where even now, if I when I come home to Lynchburg, if I run into people from school, they'll be like, hey, Steve, how are you? Where's this? I know. She's really a big But, um, yeah. It gets to the point where he would say, oh, you guys talk like And then it turns into Be quiet! Then it turns into Oh my god, you guys sound alike. And then it became, oh my god, you guys look alike. And people still ask me all the time if we're sisters and stuff. Neither one of us either. No, just that piece. Anyway, I have about a trillion stories about me in high school, but I won't tell them all. But I do have one that I want to share with you. Um, for those of you that know Lindsay uh, and I both, they're both really into music. They're like obsessed with, you know, kind of obscure, cool, hip underground bands that like people like me have never heard of and like that's their fame and awesome. They send us CDs every year, like fans that I never would have heard of for any other reason other than they send them to me. It was awesome. I love it. Uh, and Lindsay's been like that forever. Even like in high school she was like that. We um, always listen to obscure bands. And she got me to this one group. Um, it was a little known European group. Uh, no one here probably has ever heard them before. They were called Spice Girls. <laughs> we were upset. We knew all the words. We had all the albums, which I think was two, by the way. We had two albums. We know. So um, we got them. And WJJS, the local radio station, was having like this Spice Girls ticket giveaway. They were going to give away three Spice Girls tickets to the best Spice Girls that showed up at Catalani, just down the street. Maybe we're there. I don't know. So we got. Jeff Dow, me and Lindsay, and like Alison Cooler, I think. I think there's actually a picture of it on the slideshow if you're watching. Um, I don't know exactly what we were wearing, but I seem to recall myself in some leopard print shorts, uh, Lindsay in her famous British flag shirts, and just hovered head to toe in glitter. It's glitter everywhere. It was awesome. So we go over to Red Lane, we're like working it out and selling it. Uh, there were like, you know, weeding people off getting people out of there one by one. And Lindsay was nailing it. She knew all the words. She was like on the stage. It was so cute. It was awesome. Uh, she made it all the way to the end. And I thought for sure, oh my god, three special tickets here I come. And then she lost. To a ten-year-old. <laughs> with pigtails. Yeah. Whose moves weren't even that good. No. But she was going to 
such a big deal. So thanks a lot, Lindsay. I've still never seen this bicycle fly ever. Thank you. I mean, you send me 10,000 CDs every year, but there's no DVD of a bicycle counter? Really? Anyway, uh, I love Lindsay Dash, you guys. There's many things I love about me. I'm so glad to be here. And um, when Adam came into the picture, I knew right away that he was the perfect guy for her. He just seems so fun and laid back and, like, not afraid to laugh at the sun. He's still kind of, like, hit the pool and the same way that he's always been. And Lindsay is just totally comfortable around him. She was too much nervous, like, the first time that I met him. She was nervous that we were going to like him because what's not to like about Adam? He's the greatest guy ever. for the, uh, the Bachelor's about the Bachelor of Art weekend. And I was talking to Adam, and we got to talking about like the wedding, and Lindsay, and their life together, and Adam said the sweetest thing to me. I just, oh. unfortunately I was really drunk, 